do I keep placing faith in small things? Hey, I'm Pastor Sean from Shelby Church, and I'll be reading out of John 5, 1920, and the title of my devotion is Pass It On. In John 5, 1920, it says, Jesus replied, I assure you, the Son can do nothing by himself. He does only what he sees the Father doing. Whatever the Father does, the Son also does. For the Father loves the Son and tells him everything he is doing. And the Son will do far greater things than healing in this man. You will be astonished at what he does. Now, a father's responsibility is to pass on everything he knows to his sons and his daughters. So they will then pass it on to their kids, right? So we all want to leave a living legacy. Now, growing up for me was an amazing experience. And I know it may not be many people's experience, but I had a great dad. My father made many commitments that have shaped the core of who I am. My grandfather worked all the time, so my father rarely saw him. I can't, but I can't remember a time uh, to age 15 that my dad was not coaching me in a part of my life. My father was also a contractor, and he said everything I know about construction. Lastly, my father never heard his father tell him he loved him. Most days of my life, I've heard I was loved or I was hugged by my father. But though every family has its baggage, and ours had planned, my dad didn't become a Christian until he, I was in high school. Uh, my father apprenticed me in sports, construction, and being the dad I am today. And I'm glad I paid attention. And Jesus seems to be advocating his apprenticeship to his father. You know, his father is working in a new way on earth. And Jesus is watching carefully how it is being done. And Jesus is listening and watching to come alongside the Father and keep in with the Father's plans. Now, in this passage, the Father is showing Jesus so he can go and Jesus can go and do it himself. And what's most amazing, like all the things the Father does, is simply this, that Jesus is being apprenticed by his Father to give life to the dead. Think about that. Now, as a good rabbi, Jesus knows the importance of following his teacher. Jesus knows he will do what the Father has done and even greater things because his heavenly Father has passed on how to give life to the dead. But Jesus, in turn, has passed on that legacy to us. So we are participating with the Spirit in learning how to bring life, the life of Christ, to his dying world. That's why we're here. Jesus is passing it on to us just as the Father had passed it on to Jesus. So we have an amazing dad who can't wait to show us how to bring life to his world. Let's pray. Jesus, help us this week to apprentice ourselves to you. We want to pass on life to your dying world and leave the legacy that you have given us uh, to pass on. So thank you, Jesus. Amen.